the MEI culture model. This past weekend was an amazing opportunity to meet tons of entrepreneurs, VCs, and Bitcoin lovers. I had so many amazing conversations spanning the entire full stack of the business builder world. We talked about startups, entrepreneurship, capital deployment, and optimizing businesses, and of course, the theme of the conference, Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining. You know, I had so many amazing conversations, but there was one with a distinct question that just rang out in my heart and I had, we ended up having this amazing 45 minute conversation. And the question this entrepreneur asked me was how do you get more people to do the thing you want them to do? <laughs> Let me say that again. How do you get more people to do the thing you want them to do? The answer is clearly not a command and control model. This has been done before. It, doesn't work, right? Clearly, Agile and Scrum provide many value models, engagement frameworks, and working agreements. These are standard fare and par for the course. So there's lots of things that we can pull from Agile and Scrum. While these tools are great for helping organizations and teams get aligned, when it comes to building a startup, this is what I what we talked about, uh, is that the founder is the culture. They set the culture. For me, I insist that all founders of companies create a user guide. And so you can see an example right here. This ensures that all people joining the company understands the natural culture created by the founders, energies, interests, passions, natural work behaviors, and mental models. Second, and this is what we spent most of our time in our discussion is I think it's essential to create a light culture model. Now, this culture document is a second filter that essentially helps people self select themselves out of the job. You want people to read your user guide and be like, holy smokes, I don't think I want to work with this guy. That's a good thing. You also want them to read your culture document and read it and be like, holy cow, I don't know if I want to work in this type of culture. That's good. You save yourself so much time so that people self select out and say, Okay, well, at least I'm, at least they ripped the bandaid off early. Now I know exactly what to expect if I'm going to be working with this founder, and this type of culture. Now, we need amazing people and hard workers, we do not have time for activists or rent seekers. So let me give you a model that I'm currently using with a couple of startups that I'm working with. And this is called the MEI culture model for startups. And the title always is, and I would suggest that we start with this title, but the title should always be, we're here to win. That's why we're here, right? You don't build a startup to lose. You build a startup because you've garnered up enough gumption, assertiveness, maybe some finances and a little bit of courage, notwithstanding the fact that 99% of the, all the other fe feelings you have is abject fear. <laughs> That's why we do this. We are builders because we're here to win, right? And that's what we're here to do. So number one is MEI merit. We recognize talent, effort, and results. Decisions are made based on skills, contributions, and performance. Everyone has the opportunity to grow and excel based on their merit, not tenure or status. And we believe in sustained effort and consistent performance over the long run. Discipline drives us to follow through on our commitments, while hard work ensures we go the extra mile. Number two, excellence. We strive for the highest standards in everything we do. Mediocrity is not accepted. Our work reflects our commitment to being the best at what we do. We continuously push ourselves to, de to deliver exceptional results that stand out. Every obstacle is an opportunity to innovate and improve. And again, discipline drives us to follow through on our commitments while hard work ensures we go the extra mile. Number three, intelligence. We believe in smart work backed by deep understanding and critical thinking. We tackle challenges head on with creativity and resilience. We want innovative thinking here, problem solving and well-informed data centric decisions are our key assets. Learning and adapting are essential parts of how we operate. We learn by doing, not by analyzing. 
We don't stop at identifying problems, and we relent relentlessly pursue reduction of feedback cycle time, meaning how can we get feedback as fast as possible? This document essentially establishes a culture that is driven by merit with a re relentless pursuit of excellence and intelligence. Problem solving is embedded into every task, while discipline and a strong work ethic fuel the team to stay focused and consistent and sustainable. This is a culture built to win, ensuring that every team member contributes to the collective success by embracing these core values. I don't know about you guys, but the world that I live in is a world where your hard work, or put differently, the size and magnitude of your success is a function of your hard work. We don't have time to do anything else. <laughs>